Hey there guys, hope you're all doing well. It's Chetan here from Double Cube and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. And we're going to create a very cool looking sci-fi font in Photoshop. Uh, this is not going to use any Illustrator at all. I'm going to show you completely in Photoshop because I've got a lot of requests to make all these cool text effect type logos in Photoshop. So uh, here it is. So without further ado, let's get started. So here I am on Google actually, and uh, this is Voltron Legendary Defender. So I think this is a new movie or an old movie. It's something related to Netflix. Uh, I really don't know what it is, but I've seen the trailer and uh, I came across this, which is really, really cool. And we are going to be learning to create this thing entirely in Photoshop from the shading to the color, to the background, to this, this cool uh, shadow effect thing really don't know what to call it but yeah so let's jump into photoshop and get started okay so i'm on a new document which is 1920 by 1080 pixel and i'm going to press t on my keyboard type in the text uh devil and cube and i'm going to go and scale this up pretty high okay and this is this is a bad font so we're going to use a font called as demonoid so d-e-m demonized uh, you can use any sci-fi sharp font, it will look great. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to double click, select only the D and increase the size of this to 200. And let's select only the C and uh, it's going to do the same thing as well. But if you see over here, you can see that uh, the V is uh, extruding downwards. Uh, but here it's going upwards. So what I'm going to do for that is double click and we can choose the word evil part and we can just uh, move this move this up like so and let's do the same thing for oob uh, let's increase that up as well uh, wherever we think is the best position all right great now we can select all of this and just increase the the, cur the spacing okay and I think these are a little too small, so I probably set this to 150. 150, that is. And uh, the same here, 250. And now we are going to go to have to uh, bring this down. So probably around 38. Uh, so the same thing over here. Set so this to 38. And bam, we are good to go. So I'm press Ctrl A and just center this. Looking good. Now to the background, I'm going to add in a dark blue background. Uh, something like that. A little more darker. Right. And uh, now we can't probably see anything, but that's okay. So the first thing we want to do is change the color of this to white. So we can actually see it. And then we are going to go make a copy by pressing Ctrl J. Double click to get the blending modes and uh, the blending option, sorry. And we are going to go and choose stroke. Okay, and here in the stroke properties, we're going to set the position to outside. Let's change the color to red so we can actually see it. And let's just boost that up. Okay, now as you can see, the blend mode is set to overlay. So I'm going to setting it to normal. And we want a fairly big stroke. So probably around 25. I think 25 is pretty cool. And click on OK. OK, uh, so the next thing is going to be getting this, this outline uh, that we need for us. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, I'm going to double click and instead of setting it to 25, I'm going to set it to 30 and I'm going to click on OK and we're going to reduce the fill of this to zero. So what that does is when I hide it, you can see that the, the stroke, I'm just going to name this stroke. The stroke is only the stroke and it doesn't have the fill. If I set the fill to 100, you can see the white part comes back on and uh, this is going to be the main uh, text. There we go. All right, so here we are working on the stroke. So I'm gonna press P on my keyboard to get the pen tool and create a new layer. And we are going to go ahead and uh, get this looking really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in pretty close over here and press Ctrl R so we can get our rulers and just go ahead and place our rulers over here so we get the exact position of these, right, like so, okay. And I'm gonna click over here all right, then I'm going to zoom back. Okay, zoom back. Hold down shift and I'm going to come over 
here and then over here and then we're gonna come over here close this up you can also use your arrow keys to move them and once you move them you want to click on that anchor point again come down hold down shift there we go that's looking good and you know just come up and clean this part up and uh, let's go hold down shift click over here come over here hold down shift again all right let's come over here and then just come pretty close and then just close this up like so and once you have this you want to press ctrl and enter on your keyboard and what that's going to do is that's going to create an outline for you like this and all you got to do is just fill it up with some random color so um you want to come here make sure in the marquee tool right click uh choose uh, fill and just uh, fill with any color i'm choosing the uh, background color uh, let's actually just go and uh, choose the background color. click on okay and that's going to fill it up on this new layer and if i bring this down you can see this is what we have press ctrl d to deselect press ctrl h to get rid of the rulers press ctrl zero to fit to the screen uh, that's a lot of shortcuts now as you can see here here it is black so we are going to go and set the layer of this to black so double click on this layer we can go into the color overlay and set this to black all right and then we can do the same thing for the stroke as well come over here set the stroke color to black all right and let's turn on our main layer make sure that this is on top and boom there we go looking good so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to merge both of these stroke layers so i'm going to select this hold down shift Hold on control select this and press ctrl e or right click and choose merge layers and that's going to make this into one single solid layer and we can move this one on top of that so it's visible now press ctrl r to get rid of the rulers now i'm going to go and double click on the stroke and this time we are going to go and choose stroke again but this time it's going to be on the inside and we're going to go and choose a fill type to a gradient and set the size of this to five or probably for whatever and we're going to double click on the gradient and we're going to add in a rainbow color which is this but we just want four colors so we are going to go and uh, set this to blue and this is going to be green we want yellow and then red so we're going to get rid of this as you can see this is uh, so if i click on this you can see my location is zero this is going to be 100 so i'm going to split this into four so i'm going to even these out so i'm going to select this one and set this to uh, 33 and uh, this is going to be 66 or 67 whatever it is and click on ok and uh, we can go and set the angle of this to zero and boom there we go let's see if this is looking similar yep it is looking similar and looking great maybe i want to go and to the stroke and increase the stroke of this to six all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm gonna double click and uh, let's have to go and change the color of this to a little small little amount of gray okay and double click on this to get the blending options this time and go into the stroke uh, make sure we set the fill type to color and uh, this is going to be a little darker gray color right and we don't want this to be six so probably three or two uh, probably four i think four is a good amount and let's just increase the brightness of this there we go let's zoom in on the word uh, devil so we can uh, focus better so I'm going to actually start naming this a little bit more sophisticatedly. So this is going to be main text with gray stroke. Okay. So now I'm going to make a copy of pressing control J on our keyboard and we're going to right click and choose a clear layer style, clear layer style. So that gets rid of all the layer style. And now I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to come here to the color and set this to a darker color, right? There we go. Darker color. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and choose rasterize type. So now I can no longer edit this and I'm just going to go grab my pen tool, which is P and just start creating these, these kind of spiky spikes all over here and there, you know, just random spikes like so. And just come over here and close this and press control enter to make a selection. And once you make a selection, all you have to do is go to select and choose inverse. And when you hit delete, but make sure you hit delete when you're selecting this layer. What that's going to do is, as you can see, it's going to cut off these parts and leave us only with a few 
of these spikes. Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and refine this and come back uh, when I think it looks pretty good. All right, so now I'm having something like this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on this. I'm gonna come here to the stroke, make sure that the stroke is same color as this. And you wanna make sure that this is two to three pixels more than their initial stroke, which is this. So I'm gonna probably set this to seven and click on okay. Now it looks very bad. Now the only thing I have to do is right click and choose uh, create clipping mask. And boom, there we go, we have our final effect. Now, let me try to explain what I actually did here. Now, as you can see, we have the outer stroke over here, which is the same as the outer stroke. Then we have the black fill, we have the black fill. The next thing is we have this gray border, and we have this gray border. And then under the gray border, we have the white color fill, and also the gray color, you know, the spiky, the cutout parts. And you can see that this white color is seeping in to this gray part. And that's exactly what I've done. Now, maybe this is too much, so we can go back to the stroke and uh, go into the properties and reduce that down to probably how much of it you want. So I think six is a good number. And boom, there we go. Press Control zero to fit the screen. And we have this cool looking logo text. So that's pretty much it how to create this cool sci-fi looking uh, text effect in Photoshop. Hope you guys really liked it and uh, hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to mention that in the comment sections down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye. <laughs>